Good morning, Matt. This is Ken Kogan. Um, I don't have Revit 2011 loaded on this machine, so I can't edit it and save it for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you how to edit the tag, and then you can do it in your model. It'll only take maybe, uh, I don't know, a couple minutes to do. Uh, what I have here is I actually pulled up the old file that I had um, on a backup drive, and it's a STB 36 by 48 template. I uh, want to help you guys put together. I'm assuming it's the same because I looked at this tag compared to the one that you gave me in the email which I'll pull up right here. It looks very similar. Okay, so I'm assuming this is it. Um, not 100% but at, at least it'll do for this uh, scenario. Let's go back to Revit. Okay, now um, it actually doesn't look like the right font so maybe it's not. I'm not sure. Okay, well it's actually quite simple. Um, when you click on this element you'll notice you can't edit it. Uh, so what we need to do is actually kind of delve into the family. You'll see it says SBA Building Elevations, right? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down on the left-hand side over here by the families, and you'll see it says um, Elevation Mark Circle Upgrade, Elevation Mark Square Upgrade. So I'm going to click on this little guy. I'm going to right-click and hit Edit. Now what it's going to do is open it up in an editor here. Now you'll see it's opened up, and now I can come in here and actually grab this here, You'll actually notice I have it open from a moment ago, but I just edited it. So let me hit undo so you'll see what it was before. So there it was. We then grab on it, and what we're going to do is go to Edit Type. Now in here, the only thing I'm going to do is change it to Arial Narrow, and I hit OK. Now you'll see it has the regular number, and it's a little bit more compressed. And just to verify that it'll fit, I'm going to hit here, and I'll put in the sample text, uh, ASK. All right. Um, now that's just a sample. It's going to pull the sheet number, and it says that's the one it's pulling. So it'll fit a lot of digits in there now. Uh, at this time, we're going to load it back into the project. All right, now it's going to overwrite the existing version. Now, if you want a different one, we can actually use a different one. Uh, let's just go ahead and hit overwrite existing version. You'll see it tightened up a little bit. So now, uh, in theory, it would pick up, um, it will actually pick up that number. Now just to check on this template it's A302. Let's go on down to A302. I'll click on it, right click, rename the page, and I'm going to say uh, ASK. Let's say, um, I don't know, 302. Hit OK on that. Um, now let's see if that actually changed that sheet. So there it is. Um, now let's go back to our floor plans. On the sheet, let's go back up here. First floor plan. All right, now why didn't it update that? It says it's on A302. That's the sheet it's supposed to be on. That I, I changed the wrong one. That oh, looks like I changed the wrong one. Dang. Rename. Try that again. A S K 302. Okay. Enter a unique number since it doesn't mess that up. So let me just rename it again. Ha <laughs> ha. Rename. Here we go. Uh, A S K three O one. All right. So now that's happy. Let's go back to the floor plan. And there it is. Ooh, looks still looks a little tight. All right. We may actually have to reduce it a little bit. So <clears throat> let's go hit it again. It should still be open. Alt tab or Control tab. Excuse me. Control tab will cycle through it. Now it's a bit smaller. Um, in this graphic, but the, that the whole graphic may have gotten I don't know, maybe smaller also. So we'll hit edit. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to go back to um, edit type, and it's using a 332 textile. Now we may do is come in here, and I'm going to put it at 560 forts. Uh, that'd be the next one down. Uh, 560 forts. Hit OK on that. Should be a little smaller now. Load back in the project override the existing view and there it is uh, now it fits in there so hopefully that'll work for you just being able to edit it yourself quick and it will drop it right on in uh, if you want a separate head we can do that also I'm gonna hit undo a few times here so you'll see it goes back um, and what we're gonna do is go back here we're gonna drop this down go save as a family and we'll call it something different I'm going to say upgrade. I'm going to actually call it uh, ASK. Okay. Uh, hit save on that. 
so now I have a special box loaded into the project. When I load into the project, uh, it may not actually update, and that's okay. What we're going to do is we're going to grab this element. All right. Now, see it says STBA building elevation. When we hit edit type, you'll notice in here it doesn't actually say what it's using yet. Okay. So you're thinking, well, how do we make this happen? It actually is a two-step process. We're going to go v actually manage additional settings elevation tags and you'll see it it says half inch square half inch circle now I'm gonna to go to half inch circle I'm gonna duplicate it half inch circle I'll call it small let's say here shift s m a l l small I hit OK so now it's gonna use the half circle small now when you use half circle small tell it to use the actual uh, little one that we created the ASK so uh, pretty sure that would be it and we got two of them here because they were inside the same box. So let's just use that one. We hit OK on that. Now what we'll do is we'll grab this and we have to do a second duplication. Edit type, STBA elevation, and again I'm going to call it small. And now what we have to do is we have to say elevation tag that you're going to pull is. Oh. All right, I don't know what just happened there. <laughs> Cancel out of that. I should pull this with this the one we we'll use. Okay. So that's it. Pulling the small one. We hit OK. So now what we have is we have a an actual head that is small. We have a head that is regular. So we can uh, do that. Notice it was it took a couple of steps. So if you have to go back through the videos, um, go right ahead. So there's a video, so you can actually edit that element, and it takes three steps but uh, hopefully you can take care of it. If not, um, I can look at it this weekend. So hopefully that worked out for you, Matt. I'm going to uh, send this video over, and uh, have a good weekend. Thank you.